the day, if you had blonde hair, they stayed away from you because they thought you had a disease. It's like the Bible says, it's going to come at the point of time where everything bad is going to become good. And everything good is going to be seen as bad. And that's what's happening now. Back then it was bad to have blonde hair, now it's where it's at. Back then it was bad to be a homosexual, now it's where it's at. Back then it was bad to smoke and destroy your temple, now that's what we do. What we're trying to tell you is you gotta get away from that, because you know what comes with that? Alicia, you know what comes with that? Death. You may think it ain't that serious, but God is real and he judges for sins. So check it out, Willie and uh, Jeanette. What we are here to do is to show y'all that we were once upon a time one big family. The so-called Mexicans, Puerto Ricans, Colombians, Black, Haitians, Jamaicans, Native Americans. We were one big nation, one big family that ruled this whole earth once upon a time. We went in a sin like this, idolatry, and this happened. The judgment from the Most High. God judged us and cursed us for our sins. You know what those sins are? That thing you got on your neck, because you know that that was idolatry. Bring it out. And I'm, we ain't coming at you, you just didn't know. What we here to show you is that that is sin according to the Bible. You believe in God? Yeah. yeah. Uh, no. You said, how is it sin? No, I'm sorry. You know, no, 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 listen. You're my brother. So uh, give me that Leviticus 19 and verse 17. I care about my people. We actually care about our people. The Christian church don't give a damn about our people. The Christian church don't give a damn about our people. They just see blacks and Hispanics as a dollar bill. Come here with us, sir. Come here with us, sir. Come here with us. We your people. We love y'all. We ain't out here. Why, why y'all love the church? Why you ain't saying that one of y'all love us? She Baptist? What's your religion? You Baptist too? You Baptist too? You a Baptist too, sir? I'm black and I want y'all to leave so I put my music You an Israelite. You a princess to the most high. You ain't black. I'm Clarissa. Hey, sis, check this out. Hey, Jeanette, you see this sign right here? Baptist was a religion started by the people that put your hands in the sky. I'm saying you got me on that. The same people that put our people. Why do y'all hate us so much? We look just like it. You can have the video tonight, you can verse 17. The book of Chapter 19 and verse 17. That's how y'all know you black women are the Israelites written about in the Bible. That's why God gave this commandment to y'all. Read. Thou shalt not hate thy brother. Why did God have to remind the Israelites not to hate each other? Because we full of hatred for nobody but each other. Oh, I love the world, but you niggas, I hate y'all. Y'all niggas get off the corner. Y'all niggas get off the corner right now. We come out here to show love to our people. Why we got to get off the block? We are here trying to make a change. Why we got to get off the block? Right. Because we telling our people to repent. We telling you that you God's chosen people. We telling you that the black woman is the most beautiful woman on the earth. So we got to get off the block. Yeah, we come over here and tell our people to come back to your greatness. Willie, we telling you, you a God. You are an Israelite. You ain't no Mexican, Hispanic, none of that. You are an Israelite. My sister, you know you an Israelite, right? You know you, so now you don't, you just told me you knew you was Israel, sin. So you don't know if you're an Israelite? Let me prove it to you. No, I know what I am. Huh? I'm not the descendant of Jesus and I know Isaac, Jacob, and all. So come over here and build with your brothers in here. Okay. Right, right, right. So Willie, check this out. So they, when we came over here, they told us that we got to leave. Why wouldn't people come over here and sell dope on the block? They don't tell them to get off the corner. Right. Why don't call the police and run them off the block? Right. We come on the block bringing the Bible and we got to leave. Right. We come over here to show love to our people. We telling y'all that judgment is about to come to the earth. If you a so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American caught in sin, you're going to die. Right. Give me that, that it starts, the, the uh, judgment starts with Israel. First, Give me that real quick, because I want to show you that. That if you don't come up out of the idolatry, because remember, this is where your people learn that at, bro. Right. When the conquistadors came over here, they forced the people to follow that or they killed them. When the Native Americans, Puerto Ricans, Mexicans, Colombians, they ruled the side of the earth. When Hernan Cortez, the conquistadors came over here, you know what they did? They told your people to bow down to this cross or they burned you at the stake. They burned you, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. They burned you at the stake for not following them. This serious. And that's what we are here showing you. You gotta take that off. It's idolatry. The world think that God is this white man with blind hair. Let me ask you a question. Question, Only one guy. Oh no, step back. Which one of them is Jesus? Who did the who did your, who your, your, your uh, mom and dad tell you was Jesus? 
Mama, Papa, which one they tell you was Jesus? Tell me the truth, Willie. Really. Don't lie to me. They told you that that was Jesus, right? Did you know that the other one is what the Bible says Jesus looked like? The Bible says Jesus had dark skin and woolly hair. That's right. That's what the Bible said. Uh, really, I don't say uh, exactly the, the Bible where it said really, you know? Uh, you, I can show you that. Yeah. Let me give me that in Revelation. Hold on, read this real quick. Because I want to show you. It's a, it's, a, it's a reason. Hey, sister. My sister, come over here for two minutes. It's a reason why we're so urgent to try to show our people this information. Because our people are walking around sleep. We don't understand the judgment that's about to come to this place. Read. For the time has come. So God said the time has come. That judgment must begin. That what? Judgment uh -huh. must begin at the house of God. That judgment must begin at the house of God. That's judgment. That's why every five minutes in the black community, Bring you see out. a police car or a fire truck zooming by. Bring it out. You know why? Because of judgment. Because our people love lies and, and love sin. Right. Read. Hey, if it began. Hey, my sister, what's your name, sis? On the phone right here. What's your name? Who? Kalisha. Alicia. Real, real. Come deal with us, sis. I want to show you these images we got right here. It's bad. I'm going to show you. It's our reality. Do you love that more than you love God? I'm sorry. I'm on for a big while. Do you love those change more than you love God? God. That's not for God. Give me that Nicolai. Let's bring that up. I'm, if I show you that in the Bible, that that's not a God. Will you believe it? I respect you. Colossians chapter 2 and verse 8. Beware lest any man spoil you. So God says, beware lest any man spoil you. Beware of what? Lest any man spoil you. You know what man spoiled you? The conquistadors when they came over here and conquered you. You believe? Do you, do you, do you worship the Pope? Do you honor the Pope? You can't live. Uh, uh, as they say, it's only one God. It's only one God. Do you believe in the Pope? Yeah. Do you believe that the Pope is sent by God? Do, are you a Catholic? Are yeah. you a Catholic? I, I'm really, uh, I'm real, real. Uh, you just about sorry, me. Sorry, but uh, you know. Hey, at least, if, do you believe in Catholicism? I don't yes. Know what that is. No, I'm talking to her. I mean him. Do you believe in Catholicism? Yeah. Right. Did you know that the Catholic Church is raping your little, the little boys getting sent there right now? Little Mexican boys are being sent there. The Catholic Church is being That's molested. That's it. So why are you I mean, following I mean, that? People are the same. But no, it ain't all people are the same. Why are you following that? They got a reputation for molesting little boys. You well, look like God. Yeah, yeah. Now listen, yeah. check this out, right? So what we are here to do, sit, is we are here. If I was to ask your nationality, who would you tell me? African American, right? So we just had a handful of brothers up here. One of them told me that they was African American. One said they was a black American. Why? Give me Isaiah 1 and 3. So Alicia, what we are here to show our people is that you're not African American. You're not black, you're not colored, you're not Negro, none of that. You know we learned that at here. They beat our backs and told us that this is what you're gonna be. And you know, in slavery. And you know we said, yes sir, Master, sir. Yes sir, Master. We as African Americans. We as Negroes. We as colored. But you know what God doing? He's waking his children up in these last days. You seeing us out here, this is a sign that judgment is on the way. And Alicia, the reason why we out here to do this is because it's a sense of urgency for you to repent and come back to who you truly are. Is your father so-called African-American? Right? So you be from the tribe of Judah. Because one minute we went from black, we went from colored to Negro to black to African, African American. Why is there so much confusion? Right. It was prophesied in the Bible that this would happen. This Bible is your history book written by your forefathers. That's right. It's not a book written by the white man. It talks about the destruction of them for what they did to you. That's Read. right. The book of Isaiah. Chapter 1 and verse 3. Uh -huh. The ox know of his owner. So God says the ox. God is, stay with me at least. So God is giving a prophecy. He says the ox. You know what the ox is? A bull, right? It's a big stubborn animal. But he said the ox know who its owner is. It know who it belongs to. Read. And the ass is master's grip. And the donkey knows his home. You can take a donkey two miles down the road and it'll know how to get back home. But watch what he say about you. But Israel, well, who? Israel, if you look on those signs, those are the children of Israel. The so-called Mexicans, Puerto Ricans, Black, Haitians, Jamaicans, African Americans, Dominicans. We were once upon a time one great nation. The number one tactic in war is conquer and divide. They conquered us and then they divided us. You gonna be a BD, you gonna be a GD, you gonna be a blood, you gonna be a crib, you fat, you go over here, you skinny, you go over here, you talk. Tall, you go over here, you short, you go over here, you light skin, you stay with me, you dark skin, you go out to the field. That's what they did to us. Because why? If we come together, what can they do with us? Oh, ain't it funny that everybody like to talk about the black woman, but everything that the black woman do, everybody do? 
It used to be a point of time where they would clown you for having big lips. Now they literally spend twenty thousand dollars to get stuff put in their lips to be like you now. That's right. What are they showing you? They showing you that they know you great, but the world telling us that we not. The world raising our young daughters up to be thoughts, bitches, and hoes. Right. You can't be nothing else outside of that. You can't be no lawyer, no doctor. You know what we fascinated by? If you know how to twerk, you the baddest be out here. Oh man, she's bad. She can't add, she can't count, and she can't spill. But man, she can shake her ass though. Right. Why are we idolizing that stuff? What we're trying to show you is that we've been destroyed. Really. That's right. But Israel, so God said the ox know its owner, a donkey knows its home, but who? Israel, but you, Alicia, is that how you said Alicia? Alicia? Don't not know. Does what? Not know. Alicia don't know who she is. That's why we could be colored, African American, Negro, all in the same thing. It don't make sense. God said that this was prophesied to happen. Read. My people. He says, my people. At least what you don't understand is your name literally means princess to the most high. That's what Israel means. That's what our nationality and race is, the Israelites. Israel, prince of the power. That's who you are, a princess to the most high. God is a real man in the third heaven. He had a great idea to create a tree, a great idea to create grass, a great idea to create lions, tigers, and bears. You know his greatest accomplishment was to create us. Right. But you know what's so funny, Alicia? We're the only thing on this earth that don't listen to him. Of the grass grow when he tell it to, the snow come when he tell it to, but the black man, black woman, we don't listen to nobody but each other and the white man. Right. Think about that. You can literally take a puppy dog away from his parents and it'll still know how to create more puppy dogs. You can take every animal in the animal kingdom. You don't see no sodomite BS going on. You don't see no male monkeys trying to hop on male monkeys. That don't go on. But the black man and the black woman get in their lust and next thing you know, we call it something that ain't normal, normal. Bring it out. In 10 years, it's gonna be a bad thing to be straight. We gonna be walking down the street, they're gonna be like, ugh, you a man with a wife? And we be like, yeah, ugh. Wait, what's wrong? You ain't got a husband? No, nah, what the hell? That's what the world gonna come to. Bring it out. And we trying to save you for that, because you know what comes with that? Destruction. That's, That's right. right. Destruction. Just give me that uh, first Peter again. Uh, destruction come with Israel. Destruction. So that's what we out here doing. Alicia, they, just, they think we hate them, right? Let me ask you a question, Alicia. If, uh, if you were standing in the middle of the street about to get hit by a car, would you hate me if I tried to save you? So why do we hate each other when we come out here and try to tell our people the truth? You want to know what the truth is, Alicia? I'm going to show you that right after this. Read The book of 1 Peter, chapter 4 and verse 17. For the time has come. So the time has come. The time is now. Read. That judgment. That what? Judgment. Judgment. Because let me ask you a question, Alicia. Who did the world teach you that Jesus is? Which one of them? Be honest with me. Which one of them did they say that Jesus looked like? The white man. The white man, right? When you read the Bible, is that in the scriptures? It's not in there. What did the Bible say Jesus looked like? You, right, I'll show you. But what you got to realize, this Bible is literally a history book written by your forefathers. And I'm going to show you that that's you don't right. even realize the greatness you are. And that's what irritates me the most, is because the whole world know it. We can literally walk outside all day with our skin. You know if the white men stand outside too long and this is going to happen to them? What happens if they stand outside too long? They get burnt. They, get, they turn red, their skin start peeling, but we good. I can stand outside all day. But they clown us for this. Ah, oh, look at you, blacky, burnt. But when you read the Bible, Christ looked the same way. Read. Must begin. Look, every five minutes. Every five minutes, judgment. That judgment must begin at the house of God. Judgment must begin at the house of God. You know why God judges the Israelites? Because we celebrate Easter. We out here doing egg hunts. We out here doing all this stuff that God never said to do. Bring it out. God never once in the Bible said to follow Easter. He never once said that. Bring it out. That's not in the scriptures. That's idolatry and sin. God never once said to follow Christmas. That's not in the Bible. God never once, man, we celebrate Thanksgiving. Do you know Thanksgiving was literally a holiday created over the death of your people? The so-called Native Americans are your people. You know that Thanksgiving was started because of their slaughter? When these people came over here, they killed them by the millions, and then they celebrated over it. And we so simple that we follow behind them and celebrate the death of our own people. Bring it out. You got brothers and sisters? If somebody killed one of them, would you turn up with them every day to, to celebrate the day that they died? Yeah. Wait, you would turn up with the person that killed them? No, I wouldn't. Right. I'm just like no, no, I get you, I get you. So that's what I mean. But we turn up and celebrate Thanksgiving as if it ain't the slaughter of our own people. We try to show you we've been destroyed, sis. You gotta come back to your truth and who you are because you're great. But we come out here and try to say that and they want to run us off the block. Read. 
that judgment must begin at the house of God. Judgment must begin at the house of God. You know why? Give me Proverbs 3 and 31. So this is one of the reasons why God judges us. God judges us for going against him. You know one of the ways we go against God? Check me out, sis. I'm over here. You know one of the ways that we go against God? Is you don't keep your true identity of who you are. Back in the day, if you had blonde hair, they stayed away from you because they thought you had a disease. It's like the Bible says, it's going to come at the point of time where everything bad is going to become good. And everything good is going to be seen as bad. And that's what's happening now. Back then it was bad to have blonde hair. Now it's where it's at. Back then it was bad to be a homosexual. Now it's where it's at. Back then it was bad to smoke and destroy your temple. Now that's what we do. What we're trying to tell you is you got to get away from that. Because you know what comes with that? Alicia, you know what comes with that? Death. You may think it ain't that serious. But God is real and he judges for sins. Read. The book of Leviticus, chapter 13 and verse 30. Uh -huh. Then the priest shall see the plague. Shall see what? The plague. You know what the plague is, sis? It's a disease. It's a bad thing. So a plague is a disease. You should see the disease. And behold, if it be in it, sight deeper than the skin. Uh -huh. And there be in it a yellow thin hair. A what? A yellow thin hair. You know what yellow thin hair is called today? Blonde. They just changed the name of it. Because what color is that hair? It's just yellow. So God said, if you see a what? Yellow, then hair. So if you see blonde hair, then the priest shall pronounce him unclean. What? Unclean. You were known as unclean back then. Everybody stayed away from you. Because it was a plague. It was a disease that had that. Like somebody right now, if they walking around with monkey pox, you about to walk up and give them a hug. And that's how blind hair was seen back then. But we let these people lie to us and we want to do what? Go to Proverbs 3 and 31. Bring it out. My sister, listen to me. You got to come back to who you are and be great like God created you to be. Rock the hair that you got. Rock the hair that you got. Be different. Don't, because look, how long have black women been wearing blind hair? For years, right? Right? How, how has it worked out for us? We still out here dying. Our, our sisters are still being kidnapped, still being sold into sex trafficking, still being raped and molested. What has the blind hair done for us? Nothing. But you know when you keep that wood in here, it makes God look down on you and smile. Because why? You're not ashamed to represent him. Watch this. Read. That's right. The book of Proverbs, chapter 3 and verse 31. Read. Envy thou not the oppressor. God says what? Envy thou not the oppressor. Says, what does it mean to envy somebody? If I look at you and say, man, I envy Alicia, man. Like my favorite rapper or artist like like that, right? What they got, like you, you, you have a jealousy towards them. Envy, that means jealousy. Yeah, envy means jealousy. So God says, don't envy or don't be jealous. And chose none. I'll start from the top. Envy thou not the oppressor. Because once upon a time, check this out, listen, when we was in slavery, you know what started happening? We was outside working outside in the field. And then we would go live in mud huts. And then you know what happened, Alicia? Check me out, sis. We would look at Master and see Master in that big white house, and we out here living in a hell hole. We would see Master drinking, Master riding on his horse, and we outside in the field picking cotton all day. So you know what we began to do? Envy thou not the oppressor. We began to be jealous of them. Like today, we got to go home to our, our small houses that's about to fall apart. But these people out here selling drugs to our people, doing all this. And they go to these big, beautiful houses, driving Lambos, cars, clothes, holes. They got it Bring all. It out. Bring it out. Why they got everything and I'm doing the right thing and I don't got nothing? God says, because your reward is going to come later if you want to wait for it. That's but if right. you don't, you're just going to wake up to death and eternity. Read. And choose none of his ways. God says don't envy your oppressor choose none of their ways. Sis, check this out, right? It was a video that was done before when they had asked some little kids. They had a, a black baby down, they had a blind baby down. They asked all the little black girls, which baby down do you think is more pretty? They picked the white one. They picked the white one. Why you out here doing that to these little girls and you know they're looking at you, sis? Teeth. You know it's little girls that walk by and see you like, man, look at her. She's beautiful, man. I want to be just like her. You know what they're going to do? They're going to cut all their hair off and go get them a blonde wig to be just like you. You don't even realize the power you have. I told you earlier, everything that we do, the world do. What is the nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you.